Yo, it's Lux and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to use the plugin Chest Commands GUI. Using this plugin, you can create custom GUIs that resemble something like this. You can create as many different ones as you like and access the GUIs with both signs and commands. To install the plugin, head over to the plugins tab on the side here and type in chest commands GUI. Make sure it's this one here and click the install button and restart your server. It's as easy as that. Now let's quickly go over the configs. Locate the plugin folder and inside open config.yml. Thankfully there's not much here and what's here is most self-explanatory. Simple things like what color will the name or the lore of the item is going to be whenever you hover over it. If you want further information, head over to the plugin page and there you'll find everything you need, like permission nodes and commands, how to integrate your economy, as well as how to use signs and symbols, and just everything you need. Anyway, let's head back and open the lang.yml document. Here you can change what messages are displayed in the chat when the default commands are run. This is the easy part, now let's go and create some custom menus. Go to the menu subfolder and open the example.yml document. This is the default one which shows you most of the things that this plugin is capable of. It's very important that you read this carefully and understand how it works, because just by reading this and copying and changing some bits, you can basically create whatever menu you want. I'm not going to go over everything since it'll take forever, and like I said before, use the plugin page to get some more information about this. To create your own custom menu, just click new file here and type in whatever name you want your menu to be called. I'm going to call it customexample.yml. Make sure you don't forget to put the .yml at the end. Then copy everything from example.yml document to the new one which you've just created. And now you can change whatever you want here. Under the menu section is where you change how the menu works. Under the item section is what things or items you want to be in the menu and how each of them behave. Let me go ahead and change a few things. Okay, so I've mainly removed a couple things from the items section, but in the menu section, I made sure to change the command option to something that's different from every other menu. If you don't do this, it will give you an error. Apart from that, everything else is basically the same. Let's save everything and check out the two menus in game. To open the menu, type slash cc open and then the menu name. This should be whatever your .yml document is called. And as you can see, both menus work and are different from one another. You can do loads more with this plugin and it's really, really versatile. Last thing I'm gonna show you is how to create the signs. All you have to do is just place the sign down, type in menu in the top line with square brackets on either side, and then on the second line, type in the menu name and you're done. I hope this tutorial helped. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.